unfortunately, man, for me, man, you know, yeah. it, it took somebody to have to hate on me, man, to give another guy an opportunity. But shout out to that guy for getting his opportunity, though. It's a shame because I would have loved to see you and, Ch and Charlie, you know. Yeah, man. Working, you know, really, you know. So let's go to that spot right there. So, so you like the orgies the best, so we don't want to, you know, miss that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so orgies, orgies are the best for you. I love orgies. So then, what really happened? All right, on that faithful day, <laughs> <laughs> you were on. <laughs> was it an orgy or was it a? Yeah, it was. A, a, and, and and the funny, the ironic part is, it was an orgy. That tell, day. tell everybody what happened. Man, so I mean, listen, you know. I'm from Texas, man, you know, and anybody from the streets know, man, you know, if somebody disrespects you, you got to hold your own or you could just ignore it. Well, I was in a situation where, you know, somebody from my family had a problem with me and it was crazy because it, we had a problem in Europe where, you know, I was, I was disrespected. In Europe? Yeah, in Europe. So it started, so this started in Europe. It started in Prague and uh, Mark was shooting or whatever and, you know. And I was in my room sleeping. Then Mark was like, yo, get the fuck out of this room because I need to use this room. But he was older than me, so I respected my elders. I didn't say nothing. I left it alone. Cool. We get back to America. We get back to the States. And we're shooting an orgy. And I was boxing at the time. I showed up late to the orgy from boxing. So when I got there, I was explaining to somebody, you know, why I was late. And then Mark Flipped out on me, man. I, I don't know, man. I don't know if it was because I was young and didn't know how the game worked or I was ignorant as far as, you know, seniority. But uh, he just flipped out on me and told me, you know, shut the fuck up and stop talking, you know. And if I don't like it, I could get the fuck out of here. And um, I was like, 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 whatever, you know what I'm saying? Then he was like, well, let's go outside and talk about it. So I'm like, cool, you know what I mean? That's what I can do, you know? Ain't no pussy in me, ain't no bitch in me. I'm not scared. So we walk out to the front door, and when I walk out, this nigga slams the door, and he says, yeah, bitch, that's what the fuck I thought. So me being from Texas, I thought, damn, this nigga just called me a bitch, dog. Should I just be like, be a bitch and walk off? Or should I be a real nigga and go slap the fuck out this nigga? And the street part of me said, go slap the nigga, go choke him. And that's what I did. And there's a, a footage rolling around of us when we got into it. But this, the way they edited it is the niggas is holding me, whoop de whoop But um, they didn't show you the nigga disrespecting me. And I thought I was doing the right thing by slapping the nigga and choking the nigga. I didn't care who he was. But I didn't know that the way they play in the entertainment industry is if you stand up for yourself, a nigga going to kill your money. And that's what happened with me, you know. The nigga ended up telling you, you know, hey, if Max stays, I quit. So you end up, you know, having to let me go because, you know, that nigga has seniority. But the reason was he was hating on me, though. He had been hating on me and was looking for a reason to get, you know, X me out. And, you know, and that's just the way politics work. And, you know, and I was a victim of politics, you know what I mean? And that's just how it go. Wow, that was really a shitty day. Shitty for me, you know what I mean? Yeah, he made you... I have to make a decision. Yeah, I didn't want to make that decision because I was happy to have you around. Yeah, mm -hmm. man, you know, it was me. It, we was a family, and I still haven't had, you know, for anybody watching this, I still have not had no family as close as I was with these guys. T.T. Boy was like a father to me. Uh, the rest of those guys were, like, really close people. And I'm a street guy. I've been in the streets ever since I left this company because that's all I know. You actually gave me a legit you know, outlet to be legit. And since I haven't been with you, <laughs> you know how we get down, man.